Hello, this is Mark Young with Excellum Solutions, and today I'm going to talk to you, to you about business process management and 3D experience. This is the ability to create flow processes and workflows and is a good alternative to the route functionality within 3D experience. The business process management is a configurable solution for creating processes in 3D experience. There are three main roles that come with the Business Process Management Solution, or BPM. Business Process Designer, which is more of an admin role to create a process. Business Process Player, which is the role users use to execute processes, and the main role we will be using today. Business Process Analyst is a role to follow up on KPIs and analytical information on processes that have been run. In today's demo, we're going to execute an approval and release process. It will show parallel and serial nodes. It will have user-defined paths where the user can control what path to use within the process, dynamic assignment of users, and automatic release of data associated to the process. So let's see it in action. We start off in 3D experience. As you can see, I have various documents on the screen. I will be making use of test plan operation two and will release it per my approval process. I will now go to my 3D compass and execute the design player role or process designer player role. We click on it, and it will bring up the Design Player app within 3D Experience. We will go to the Process tab, and today we'll be making use of the Test Model 1 MDY process. Let's look at it. We start off and go right into three processes in parallel. Then we go to the new engineering manager role, which can accept it or reject it. If it accepts it, it will decide if it should go through the engineering or manufacturing path. And then finally, at the end, there will be automated nodes to release the documents. We will now create a new task by hitting new and put in some information regarding the task. We will enter description of change and type in this will be a change on a test plan. We also put in impact of a change and put in it may impact how the tests are run. We'll also search for a document and use a keyword test. And now we're searching in 3D experience for a document to attach to this process. Our documents come up and we will pick the test plan operation 2 to attach to our process. Finally, we will pick if this will be an engineering or manufacturing route. And we're going to pick the engineering to go down the engineering path and start the process. The process is started. And you can see we have a task to perform from the start node. We click on the task and we can see information about the process that was entered, the document that was associated to the process. We can open the document and view the document in 3D play. Make sure it's correct per our review. Now that we know everything looks good, we can finally approve the process and move it on to the next step by clicking the finish task. This now automatically brings up the tasks that are done in parallel. If there are different users, different users would be assigned the tasks. I will quickly approve all these tasks as the process is similar to what I had done before. Before I do that, I'm going to simply look at the process 
to see what step in the process we're at. So now I will approve the task. And we get confirmation that the task has completed. We will now approve the other tasks. So I'll click on that and say finish. And then click on the final task and say finish. I will now move to the engineering manager node and click on that. You'll notice we have the option to now approve or reject this flow process. I'm going to look at the process again and see we're at the engineering mode and here's the option to reject it back to the start or the parallel nodes or move it forward to the engineering or manufacturing node based on the decision I put in when I created the process. We go back to the process and now I can pick approve and finish the process. We see the process has been finished. So now we're on the engineering node. And again, it moved up into that step. It did not go down the manufacturing route. So I will go back to the process and finish that as well. Now that that has finished, it goes into a dynamic process where the first user that started the process automatically gets signed to the next node. So I go there to the dynamic process per that user and I will look at the process and see that it moved on to the final approval step. The next nodes in the process will have me pick my collaborative space because I am going to be releasing a document and then automatically release the document. I will now click finish and approve this task and go back to my other tasks and now I need to release the document. As mentioned, to do that I need to pick my collaborative space when doing the release process. So I'll click finish task and that has finished. Now the remaining tasks completed automatically and released the document. We will now see how this worked. I will now click on the monitoring tab to see my completed process and all the tax tasks that were executed per that process. I look at the finished processes and click on my process. Now I can see the complete process flow. I can see all the information about the process and look at the details, who did what and when. And another view which shows all the events that were done within the task as well. We can now jump to my email and see that we got an email for each task that was performed. If you click on the task and look at it, you can see you can jump to the task directly from the email as well. Finally, we'll go back to the original dashboard and look at the document that was attached to the process. You can see now that once I refresh this widget, the document will show that it got released per being attached to the process and being approved through the process. This concludes the video on business process management in 3D Experience. I hope you enjoyed this video on business process management functionality in 3D Experience. If you have any questions, please reach out to me, Mark Young at XLM Solutions, per the info on the screen. I will be following up this video with additional videos on the administration side of how we created this process in 3D Experience. Please be on the lookout for these videos. Once again, thank you very much.